All right, guys, so it seems like there is not going to be any patch notes uh, inside of the game as of right now, uh, but Death Sisters did share this uh, image uh, within Naver as well as Discord uh, for the English users. So I have went and saved the images and stuff like that. So let's look at this real quick. Update sneak peek for the April 24th update. So that is 100% confirmed. All right, uh, but we have the Heaven Splitting Lightning. All right, that's going to be the title of the uh you know our uh new update uh that is coming up on the 24th uh but we have some crazy stuff all right all right now let's look at this real quick uh it says way up above where clouds form and scatter existed a great weapon forged from the first lightning get ready to meet stormbringer cookie and climb the subline cake tower so it seems like that right over there if you guys look at this uh that is going to be uh the heaven splitter right there all right, so if you guys look at that, that's the Heaven Splitter, and I don't know exactly what this dragon is supposed to represent. All right, it just could be literally, um, it could be like a dragon form of Stormbringer, uh, but we have that. All right, so that's going to be the kind of the quote unquote lore and the background of it. Uh, but we have right here, this is going to be our new cookie, Stormbringer cookie. All right, uh, the ruler of the skies is here, Stormbringer Cookie, and it's going to be a legendary charge and also in the front with the skill Lightning Blitz Storm. All right, we don't have any information again about what the skill is going to do because uh, Patch Note is not actually available inside of the game. All right, but we do have the image and we do know how the skill does look. I mean, we do have uh, Stormbringer Cookie charging at the enemies, grouping them up together pushing them all the way to the back and at the very end you see you know stormbringer cookie summoning a giant lightning and striking them down with it again we just don't know what the debuffs are going to be it's like 99.9% .9 sure that we are actually going to be getting zap uh, effect in it but yeah we just don't know what the actual you know debuffs and effects are going to be is it going to be a stun is it going to be something other than a stun but here we go this is going to be the new thing here guys so I guess uh, they decided, instead of releasing a new epic cookie, they decided to do this. Stormbringer cookie is here, and if you guys look at it, you guys can see that it says 100% guaranteed. Log in daily and meet the ruler of the skies, Stormbringer cookie. It seems like if you do log in and you just kind of participate, they're actually making it 100% guaranteed. So... A lot of times we had, uh, you know, where you can get the cookies as long as you part, you know, went and did uh, every little, you know, uh, the missions and gotten uh, the daily gifts and stuff like that. But it seems like we're getting a legendary cookie that is going to be 100% guaranteed as long as you log in daily. It seems like we're going to have a, you know, maybe like 28 days of login. And then at the very end, you might be able to get Stormbringer cookie for free. Um, but that is something new like they did not do this at all for any of the other cookies uh, but it seems like this is how they're going to be doing it of course uh we it seems like we're gonna have a separate banner uh just like always uh, but that is going to be something that they have not done before i mean i appreciate that you know i'm sure all the players appreciate that but of course if you want to have a like, head start and get the cookie right away then you know we need to spend that money but uh here we go next one is gonna be the new subline cake tower all right so uh we do have the new choco cake tower it seems like it might be the new uh variation of the uh tower of sweet chaos that we have had seems like from the video that we have seen the rewards are not going to be very focused on like exp star jellies and things like that it's more towards like the biscuits um, and we have extra, you know, rewards. Uh, but we do have a new variation of the tower. It does seem like, uh, though, uh, that there are two variations of the doors or the two variations of the tower that we can actually um, go and participate in. The first one seems like what we are going to be getting right away. And then uh, after a couple of uh, days, it seems like more like two weeks, it seems like for the part two. That's when the next uh, one is going to actually come out, all right? Uh, so let's look at this one next. Uh, it's going to be the new treasures that are also coming out here, guys. Uh, so we have the grim-looking electrifying scythe. 
uh, increases crit percentage for electricity type cookies. So it's actually going to be focused targeting the electricity type instead of just all cookies. Then that probably means that the percentage is going to be a little bit higher because it is targeting a specific type. And then we also do have the Thunder Gods Paper Charm. Deals electricity type damage equal to the sum of all cookies attack and removes all buff to nearby enemy. All right, so it seems like it's just going to be the better variation of the paper charm, at least for the, uh, you know, the paper charm. Uh, but electrifying scythe, the scythe one is going to be very, uh, just going to be focused on uh, your one type of cookie. Uh, so we'll see how this one goes. Uh, but very excited to see new treasures on the way here for us, guys. All right, next one is going to be the new electricity type update, just like uh, we have seen with the treasures uh so we do have stormbringer as well as the uh the new element and we have the epic cookies that are going to be or super epic as well uh there's th supposed to be darker cow as well i don't know where darker cow's face is and wizard cookie all right but we do have um you know darker cow and wizard that were shown inside of the cookie alliance sheet all right and we have twizzly blueberry pie as well as black lemonade and we also have uh shining glitter frill jellyfish and uh olive and every one of these guys except for blueberry pie actually has zap and it seems like zap is going to be the one that is turning into the electricity type uh attack so we have that and then we actually do uh have the next update so part two of this update it seems like that's what it's going to be uh we do have the legendary skin all right or legendary costume coming out for stormbringer so for everybody who's been, you know, saving up your, uh, basically, rainbow cues for a very, very long time, we have a new legendary skin or costume coming out. All right, so it's about time for you to start saving your uh, rainbow cubes again. All right, if you have started to, uh, you know, save it uh, or use them, and then, uh, you know, you just have a little bit, then it's about time to save. You have about probably two weeks before the new, uh, you know, part two comes out, all right? So we have that. And then we have the uh, Subline Cake Tower. This is going to be the Endless uh, Strawberry Cake Tower. So this is the second, uh, you know, tower that, uh, or the second doorway uh, that we're getting. So this is going to be for part two as well. And this is going to be something that, you know, kind of got me excited too. And it's going to be the new Twizzly Gummy Cookie Magic Candy, as well as a blueberry pie cookie magic candy as well and that's going to be for part two of the update so again it's going to be uh two weeks after the initial update of stormbringer all right and i gotta say the the magic candies do look pretty darn cool all right and you know we have twizzly gummy that's being used right now for the avatar of destiny hopefully they don't mess up anything uh where it causes the reversal to happen uh, but we do have Twizzly Gummy here. Uh, finally getting a magic candy after. Um, probably a good... I don't know. How long has it been since Twizzly came out? You guys can let me know down in the comments below. But it's been a while. And Blu-ray Pie was also a very, very, very good cookie. Right? Uh, but kind of fell off after uh, other cookies came out. Uh, so now we'll see how this magic candy is going to uh, actually bring back blu-ray pie if it does bring back blu-ray pie uh, but that is what we have again we don't have any uh notice inside of the game still uh, i'm i'm constantly checking right now but we still don't have anything seems like uh this is how they're going to be sharing uh this updates uh but the biggest thing that surprised me out of all the images is this right over here login bonus a free legendary free legendary incoming for everybody i think that is the craziest thing for me uh that they have done honestly so that is pretty much what we got guys uh that is going to be the little sneak peek that we have gotten uh for the heaven splitting lightning part one as well as part two and one sad thing right now that i i am still seeing is that we don't see a buff for dark cacao uh but we'll see how that goes guys but thanks for watching and let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about the upcoming update for this new legendary cookie